Hey, how's it going everybody? This is the best burger in every state, 50 states favorite. Now, in case you've watched, in case you haven't watched um, a lot of videos of mine, uh, burgers are my absolute favorite food of all time. Literally, of all time. I don't think there's a single food that I like more than burgers. What does a good burger need to have? Well, two things. One, it needs to have a lot of ingredients on it. Um, and but two, it's not allowed to fall apart easily because there's nothing more, nothing more annoying. You could, you know, you can't can't get it back in there. It's kind of not possible, you know, especially if it's stuffed like right in between and barely fit anyway. But yeah, this is the best burger in every state. Fifty states favorites, like I said. Um, what can I say? The burger that I see on the screen right now, I want to make love to it. I'm pretty sure. So. And if this is the first one that we see, I can only imagine what the second one's gonna be. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna make myself, believe it or not, after this video. I chose this video because I bought some ingredients myself to make myself some burgers right after this one. So, it seemed like a good topic to talk about. Guys, I hope you enjoy. From old fashioned to over the top, here's each state's favorite burger. From old fashioned to over the top, I have goosebumps already. We are one second in. Up, here's each state's favorite burger. Chub Fathers is a hidden gem a couple miles off the I-65 highway. The popular pit stop burger is topped with cheese, bacon, onion straws, and a sunny side egg. Whoa. Locals and tourists come to Tommy's Burger Stop for the best burgers in Anchorage. Jesus. The burgers are well seasoned and huge, so make sure you come That's with an like appetite. Him. The Chuck Box is considered a local landmark in Tempe, serving burgers since 1972. What makes its burgers special is the charbroiled patties that are cooked right in front of its customers. Dude, it must smell amazing. Oh my god. Smoky taste. Oh, Big Orange fuck. prides itself in making fresh and quality burgers with premium and local ingredients. Its most popular beef burger is the Hickory Smoke, which is piled high with cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce, pickles, I don't know about and that. fried onion strings. It seems strings. to fall apart easily. Pie and burger in Pasadena makes the perfect California-style burger. Similar to oh In-N-Out, but better. The recipe is simple, but- Yo, In-N-Out was actually the first ever uh, fast food restaurant that I went to in the States in 2011. I liked In-N-Out so much that I told the people uh, we need to go back at least one more time uh, during my vacation there. And my mom at the time, she bought me a uh, in and out t-shirt, like a merchandise t-shirt. Uh, and I wore this one for years, honestly. It was too funny because every time I wore it in school, people would think like, what kind of t-shirt is that? What the fuck? You know, why are you wearing some... It, it, looked, like, it looked like I was advertising, but seriously, I, I, free advertisement, even though there's no in and out in Germany. But wonderfully captivating. The old style diner also serves first class pies and milkshakes. Oh my god. The Cherry Cricket is a Denver institution known for its customizable. Dude, I know this guy. I know this guy. Is, isn't he? I've seen him pop up. Doesn't he do the, the, the USA side from the USA versus uh, UK food comparisons or so? I've seen the thumbnails. I've seen the th I think I watched one. I don't remember. Which, which video did, did I watch? I don't actually remember, but if in case you're interested um, and want me to react to it, definitely let me know. The Cherry Cricket is a Denver institution known for its customizable burgers. The options are limitless, and you can even add mac and cheese to your burger. Doesn't seem Louis like a good Lynch idea. is the birthplace of the hamburger sandwich in the U.S. Even today, the burgers are still cooked in the original cast iron grills, topped with cheese and optional onions, and placed between two slices of toasted bread. Farmer and the Cow grinds and shapes its patties in-house for ultimate freshness. One of the most popular burgers is the Wise Guy, topped with the fried mozzarella, garlic-filled pizza sauce, truffle mayo, and pepperoni, giving it a kind of pizza burger flavor. The Frita Cubana, also considered the Cuban hamburger, is a well-seasoned oh, beef shit. patty topped with fried potato sticks and onions. It originated as a street food in Havana before making its way to South Florida, where it's- Florida seems to be so influenced, food-wise at least, I don't know, but culture-wise, but well, I, I assume since there's Miami and everything. But food-wise, it seems to be so influenced by, um, by Cuba. I mean, it's crazy. I remember when you did a, we did the 50 States favorite uh, from this channel as well, uh, the, the, uh, the, the sandwiches. 
And wasn't the sandwich, the, the, the Florida one, the one with ham and pickles, but like they, they didn't cut it, made it make small people, like cut it, but you know, this is the pickle. They cut it like this instead of this. Wasn't that the one? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It's extremely popular today. And one of the best places to get one is El Mango de las Fritas. The NFA Burger won the title of Best Burger in Metro Atlanta in 2020 by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The winning burger, the Billy's Classic, consists of two beef patties with pickles, American cheese, mustard, and the special sassy sauce. Chubby's Burgers serves quality burgers and milkshakes from its food truck in Honolulu. Dude, that's it good shit. It uses local ingredients such oh as grass-fed beef from Kauai and house-made potato Dude, buns. this looks good. Hudson's Hamburgers is a family-owned business that's been flipping burgers since 1907. Customers love its simple and tasty burgers, homemade pie, and nostalgic atmosphere. Bon Appetit and Food Network once declared the Au Cheval cheeseburger the best burger in America. Au Cheval. The critically acclaimed burger is stacked with two patties, melted cheese, pickles, onions, Dijonais, and optional bacon and egg that you should definitely add on. Bob's Burgers is famous for its one pound big ugly burger, which was featured on Man vs. Food. Oh, if big ugly. If you finish ugly. the seven inch diameter burger in one sitting, you get your picture on the restaurant wall which might be easier than you think, considering how delicious the burger really is. Honestly, the burger serves in honestly, I think I could do this. I think I could do it. Now, if you look at me, okay, yes, you might think that um, I'd be lying, but uh, you, s I mean, just look at me when I eat. I can eat. Inventive burgers with some whimsical zombie themed decor. The popular undead Elvis burger is piled high with beef patties, cheese, fried bananas, bacon, peanut butter, and an egg. As you can see, portions are huge. I didn't even know these words Locals exist. Locals visit the Cozy Inn for simple burgers, often compared to White Castle burgers. These no frills. No Sorry that I have to pause it so much, so often, but oh my god, I went to White uh, White Castle in, um, in when I was in New York City. Horrible. Why does that thing even still exist? I mean, I've heard people say that it's the 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 in and out of the East Coast. Have you ever even been to the East uh, to the West Coast? Because I've been to both, and uh, there's no comparison. I mean, one has what like seven ingredients, the other one has two, max. And is it true that I've heard that you can you can actually buy and, and this this just says everything about it. You can buy pre-made um what is it pre-made White Castle burgers in the store and you just heat them up. Is that actually true? I would not be surprised. Let's put it this way. No cheese sliders are grilled with onions and packed with flavor and go for 119 a pop. Bad Wolf Burgers was originally a small diner, but before long, its burgers outsold everything else on the menu, so it rebranded. There are 13 burgers on the menu year-round, but the most popular is its namesake, the Bad Wolf, which has homemade beer cheese and smoked bacon inside. Jesus. People love the burgers from Pharmacy Nola. The patties are a juicy blend of beef, brisket, and short rib. Its specialty is the Pharmacy Burger, which is topped with homemade giardinera and bacon jam. The High Roller Lobster Co. doesn't just make buttery lobster rolls, but also Never had amazing lobster, beef man. burgers and sandwiches. And the Surf and Turf Burger is a must-try beef and Dude, lobster he's like, combo. Fuck that burger! The Abbey so Burger good. Bistro loves to showcase its build-your-own burgers with its house-made toppings, sauces, Dude, what's and up? sides. Oh, hello. Mr. Bartley's Burger Cottage is a beloved Boston burger joint steps from Harvard's campus. Its giant burgers are famously named after many of. Sorry, boys the city's adorned sports figures and celebrities like Tom Brady and Jason Veritek. <laughs> Tasty's Burgers originally started at a gas station and amassed a large loyal following with its delicious halal burgers. The award-winning burger is Ali's Nacho Burger. It's loaded with four types of cheese, including nacho cheese and nacho Doritos, and the usual fixings. Jesus, man. Matt's Bar and Grill is home to the Juicy Lucy, a patty stuffed with cheese in the middle. A must visit for anyone in Minnesota. Jackson natives and tourists stop by Sam's to get one of its 24 Dude, you can barely even burgers. hate it. Oh, the you dig in there. burgers are seasoned with a secret blend of spices that keep people coming back. Stacked is a must-visit burger spot in St. Louis. You can get one of its specialty burgers or build the burger of your dreams with its substantial customizable selections. 
The Burger Dive in Billings has many award-winning burgers, including the I'm Your Huckleberry Burger, <laughs> which won the 2016 World Food Championships. The one third pound Angus burger is topped with huckleberry hatch, chili barbecue sauce, bacon, goat cheese, arugula, and roasted red pepper mayo. Flock 16 serves simple but phenomenal burgers that even TV personality and chef Alton Brown raves about. We're talking about the croak garçon. I don't like the bun. It's a one third pound Wagyu beef patty topped with Swiss cheese, grilled ham, and an egg in a ciabatta bun with truffle aioli, tangu mustard, and sliced Dude, green onions. Dude, what's for his neck? Customers come to Slater's 5050 for its over-the-top premium burgers, especially with bacon. And its most extravagant but most popular is the 24 karat burger. It's half a pound. Oh my god. I feel like there are even more reasons why I need to go back to Nevada. I've been to Las Vegas, believe it or not. Quite the experience. ...of Australian Wagyu beef, truffle cheese, three slices of gold-dusted bacon, bacon jam, aioli, and arugula... How much does it cost? ...between gold-dusted brioche buns. People come to Lexi's joint for comfort food. Its burgers are cooked hot and fresh to order, and its fries are an essential side. Steve's Burgers is one of New Jersey's most beloved burger hideaways. It sells about 2,000 burgers weekly, and the best seller is its namesake, Steve's Burger. Six ounce ground chuck patty is grilled and topped with American cheese, onion rings, and Steve's secret sauce. When you walk into Sparky's, you'll be delighted by the eclectic and vintage memorabilia and decor. Mm. But the main attraction is the green chili cheeseburgers. Burgers Cheese. are flame grilled and topped with New Mexico's famous green chili for the most mouth-watering burgers. Yes, Emily may specialize in pizza, but the best thing on the menu is the Emily burger. It mixes things up with a pretzel bun, graft and cheddar, and caramelized onions. And there's a really delicious Emily sauce Wait, on both- Wait, that's cheese? Bun, graft and cheddar. I thought that was, for some reason, I thought there was they were throws, frozen potatoes. Jesus. And caramelized onions. And there's a really delicious Emily sauce on both buns, giving the burger a sweet and tangy flavor throughout. Al's Burger Shack was once named America's best burger restaurant by TripAdvisor. Its signature burger is the Bobo Chili Cheeseburger, which <laughs> is topped with chili sauce, slaw, chopped onion, yellow mustard, and American cheese. Sickies offers a wide range of burgers, 50 to be exact, but its trademark is the Sickies Burger, which has a great balance of savory, sweet, and tang. Customers come to the Thurman Cafe for the Therminator, a towering burger consisting of 13 ingredients, including two 12-ounce patties, three cheeses, and bacon. And if it's too big, the Thurman Burger is a smaller version. Tucker's delivers on a good, old-fashioned onion burger. The combination of beef, shoestring onions, and cheese makes the perfect... Oh my god, I want to make love to this one as well. Tarmony of flavors and textures. PDX Dude, Sliders goosebumps. was listed as one of Yelp's best loved burger places in 2018, and even made it onto National Geographic's best burgers in America. It is loved for its inventive and loaded burgers that you can get in two sizes. Man, I haven't had some good fries in size. such a long time. Village Whiskey is well known for its burger and dark liquor combo in Center City. Its resident burger is the Village Burger, consisting of the house-made Thousand Island dressing, lettuce, a tomato slice, and the thick-cut 8-ounce Angus beef. These tiny... What is Angus? And by the way... Let's go back. Me personally, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I like... I would rather have... I would rather have two patties, two thin patties, than one gigantic one, you know what I mean? I don't know if you could even call this a patty anymore, probably not. It's just me. But it seems with the big ones, it's always the middle that ends up being raw. You know, I mean, nothing against it, I guess. You can still eat it, but not my thing. I'd have, I'd have to try it, but I don't believe I would be a fan. Its resident burger is the Village Burger, consisting of the house-made Thousand Island dressing, lettuce, a tomato slice, and the thick-cut 8-ounce Angus beef. These tiny burgers offer some big flavor at Harry's Bar and Burger. The potato sliders are a Rhode Island favorite that are perfect to share. People say the tavern Whoa. burger from Little Jack's Tavern is one of the best burgers they've had in their life. This in perfect life. cheeseburger is dressed with a special sauce, cooked onions, and melted American cheese. A must try in Charleston. The Black Hills Burger and Bun Co. is a family-owned restaurant that makes some of the best burgers in town. The signature is the Hot Granny Burger, comprising the bacon, cream cheese, burger. jalapenos, and jalapeno jelly. Oh, no. There's also the option to replace the beef patty with bison. Locals know the best burger in Hendersonville can be found at Jumbo and Delicious. 
It serves up a mean burger that's juicy and <laughs> bursting mean with flavor. Burger. Chris Madrid's may be considered. I don't know why, but the the term "mean" is too is too funny to me. I don't. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything like that here in Germany. That you know, translation wise, a mean, a mean burger. I make a mean burger. I don't know. That sounds always so interesting. Hmm. The gold standard of burgers in San Antonio. Everyone's favorite is the cheddar cheesy burger. Lucky 13 makes over 90 rotating specialty burgers that all deliver on flavor. But the constant bestseller is the Celestial Burger, which has smoked bacon, grilled onions, and house barbecue no, sauce. I like the bun. Worthy Burger cooks its burgers over a wood fire grill until pink and juicy. Its namesake burger is everything Vermont. Vermont ground beef, cheddar cheese, buns, even the lettuce is grown there. Repeal Bourbon and Burgers is a Virginia Beach gem with well thought out burgers. It has 13 burgers, including the most popular, Fire and Brimstone, with Tabasco fried onions, sriracha aioli, jack cheese, and house made chutney. Burger Soul in Tacoma fuses Korean and American flavors into its burgers. The most popular burger is the Soul Burger, and you can add some guac the for soul. an extra punch. But we'd recommend getting the Fire Soul Burger, which consists of grilled pork butt, lettuce, pickled Korean cucumbers, and fire sauce. Wow. Oscar's Breakfast Burgers and Brews puts an emphasis on fresh and good service. Oh my god. It makes about 1,600 burgers a week, and even more pre-pandemic. The top burgers are the Clutch Burger and the Byzantine Burger. Sally's Grill serves the iconic Wisconsin Butter Burger. The sirloin patty is cooked in butter and topped with stewed onions and American cheese, not to mention smeared with a I whole like how, slab. I like how they always put the... butter and topped with stewed onions and American... I mean, if it, was, if it was gonna fall apart, you know. I still don't know how you would eat this thing. You know, as nice as it is, but I don't know how you would eat this thing. You know, I like how they stick the knife in and then put in a, a big onion ring over it. That's quite... I like that. American cheese. Not to mention smeared with a whole slab of butter, which slowly melts as you eat the burger and results in a weirdly satisfying pool on the plate. While it is Texas grown, Liberty Burger has become a local favorite in Jackson, Wyoming. Whoa. Combinations are... Oh my god. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> yeah, what I'm gonna make in a second is, is definitely not gonna look like that. That's for sure. ...are limitless, with the eight patties, wow. seven kinds of cheese, and 24 toppings to choose from. While they aren't technically states, here are the best burgers in Washington, D.C. and Rico? Puerto Rico. Duke's Grocery is known for its proper burger. It consists of two thin patties, melted gouda, charred red onions, pickles, garlic aioli, and semi-sweet chili sauce on top of toasted brioche buns. Buns Burger Shop is a restaurant chain in Puerto Rico that makes mouth-watering burgers and shoestring fries similar to Five Guys. Ooh. What foods do you think we should... Holy fuck. Honest... Man, I wish we had some more burger places here. Seriously, the only place you can get a burger here is really just McDonald's and Burger King. And honestly, whenever you, whenever I went to a restaurant in the past, which I haven't been to a restaurant in years, probably. I don't know why, but for some reason, the it just never tasted great. I don't know. It never it never tasted great at a restaurant. Man, that's amazing, seriously. My god. Cover next. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> oh my god, you see that thumbnail. The most iconic restaurant in every every state. He's like, oh my god, help me. God. Well guys, in case you enjoyed, definitely let me know. Um which ones uh, talking about fucking big patties here. Do you see this shit? I mean, at some point, you can also overdo it. Or can you? Well, I mean, since you're in the States and, and talking burgers, I don't... Hmm, maybe you can. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If there's any other videos you would like me to react to, put the name of the video down in the comments, and I'll go check it out. Which burger was your favorite? My favorite, I'm pretty sure, was the one that you... I mean, I mean this one, right? It's probably this one. It's, it's probably the one we saw at the end. Fashion to over the top. Yeah, exactly. That, that's the one we saw at the end, right? Yeah, man. It's crazy. 
Like three of them were really, really grinding my gears. If you know what I mean. God damn it. If there's any, if there's any um, uh, burger that you've actually tried yourself from this list, let me know. Now, obviously, there's you know White Castle. I'm sure someone has tried that, but uh, any of these specific places here, definitely let me know. Wow, man. Just too good. If your favorite food is not a burger, then what is it? I'd be more than curious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care. I'll see you soon. We reached a thousand subscribers, by the way. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.